Let's start with the fresh news about Kendrick Nunn signing with Panathinaikos. 28-year-old uh, guard, a four-year NBA player who averaged 12.1 points and 2.4 assists for Miami, Lakers, and Washington, is set to make his EuroLeague debut. So just for the beginning, what you guys think about Kendrick's fit in the EuroLeague? No, I, I really like it. I think um, if he's healthy, he's a guy that can create his shot off the bounce. He can create for others. Um, he's an explosive scorer. And we've seen what Ottoman does with good scoring guards. You know, his system is is open for them. It gives them the freedom to be who they are. And, you know, considering it's going to be his first time in Europe, there's obviously going to be an adjustment period. But Ottoman's offense and his style and his freedom that he gives players who are capable, you know, of carrying the load offensively, I think this is probably the best place he could go to where he could be himself and maybe have a slower adjustment here compared to other places just because of the pressure, you know, what Pentanagos expect. But I think the open court offense, the high pick and roll, the ability to ISO, you're going to see that come through and you're going to see him, you know, be himself if he's healthy and if he's in shape. You know, you never know, you know, how guys' bodies are, you know, after a long time out, not in game shape, not playing game flow. But, you know, if he's, you know, the player that he has been, you know, throughout the course of his NBA career, I think he could be successful in Ottoman's offense. Yeah, I think um, just to, to kind of mimic what, what Eric said, you know, I think the the main thing, you know, when I think of the signing is obviously how he's going to adjust to the to the European game. Right. That's obviously the 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 main factor when you look at someone who's played his whole career in, in the NBA and then coming over uh, to Europe. You know, we're seeing that now with with Kimball Walker, Serge Baca. You know what I mean? These are guys who are kind of making these adjustments on the fly. Um, but. You know, like Eric said, dynamic point guard who can score off the bounce, can play well in a pick and roll. Um, it's going to be interesting to see the the uh, the pick and roll with him and Lasort. Um, I think it's going to be something that you know uh, Ottoman should incorporate in the offense if he hasn't planned on it already. Um, and then you know adjusting to the to the the Greek culture. You know, obviously we all know what you know comes with playing with with Panathinaikos in terms of the historic. Uh, essence behind it and you know the level of uh pressure that can that can go into it as well so um there is going to be a bit of a, a learning curve there but um i'm excited to see it i think it's going to be good for not just Panathinaikos, but i think it's going to be good for your league in general having another uh good solid nba player uh in the mix by the way you mentioned this pressure playing for Panaikos and you know better than us what it means to play for Panaikos. What would be your advice to Kendrick if he was about to text you, you know, after this podcast, you know, to, to, to get some tips uh, from you how to adjust culturally, mentally to the challenges that he's about to face? I think culturally, um, it's not too big of an adjustment. You know, Athens is one of those cities that, you know, being American, you always kind of hear about. It's pretty westernized in terms of other um, cities in Europe. Um, so I don't think that'll be much of a, a, a culture shock in the sense of, um, you know, my, my thing, uh, my thing would be the biggest thing would just embrace it all good games, bad games, continue to be confident in yourself, continue to understand who you are and remember who you are. Um, because that was the biggest thing I, I struggled with at my time in Panthenico. So, um, you know, if he were to text me, I think that would probably be the, the best advice I can give. Watching their development and now with Kendrick Nunn signing. Where did you see Panathinaikos in the playoff picture before, or where do you see them now? I saw them just missing the playoffs, and I still see them that position, just because it's really tough when you get a new coach, um, so many new players, a new system. Um, it takes time to put that all together, especially when you're playing against guys who have been together three, four years, um, running the system, knowing each other's um, quirks, what they like on the court, where they like the ball, what people can do. It takes time, and that's built over the course of the season and we haven't even saw how you know none may fit or may not fit or how he'll be put into place so i do like the the fans of i do like the talent i like the energy that they're bringing you can tell that something um is alive there that ottoman's brought he's brought a belief um and a hope and that's something that can kind of lift players up and get you marquee wins um they still have some struggles offensively um of many periods where they don't score for long stretches um, and, and the year lead is so deep. I mean, there's so many teams who haven't even hit their stride yet. I mean, you look at, you know, FS could potentially, you know, if they find their groove, they're also in a new situation, a new coach, you know, they have some core guys returning, but you know, if they hit their groove, something could change there. You think about Maccabi, they could lift up when Wade Ballman comes back from injury. Um, you think about Red Star, they have a new coach who's been 
to the EuroLeague final who's been in that situation. He's starting to use all the roster. You bring a new life sometimes when you bring a new coach. You know, they could also, you know, make a change there. And those are teams that are, you know, in that same position as Panathinaikos fighting, you know, for that playoff position. So I think that the potential is there. I think that they're building something, a stepping stone um, for the next year and for the future. But I think it would be a tall task to expect playoffs. Okay, could it happen? Yes, it could. But realistically, I think um, just being in that mix is a step forward. And, you know, I think next year is when you really start to see them take off and Ottoman can really control the roster, get his guys in there, have a full offseason, you know, really put his um, imprint on that team.